Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou saidst, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. We are living in a time where the people of the Most High need to understand how the Most High operate, in addition to take heed to His instructions. The Most High is listening and responding to His people. At a critical time such as this, every Israelite should have established a personal relationship with the Most High. In order to survive the kingdom of darkness, diabolical plans, we must obey the Most High's instructions. It is evident that the kingdom of darkness wants to usher a new world order. This order is to enslave Israelites and heathens. In addition, transfer wealth from the poor and middle class to the 1% workers of iniquity. It is imperative that you can differentiate the Most High's voice from the kingdom of darkness. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Differentiating the voice of the Most High from the many voices that speak to us is going to determine how successful we become as a people. We all have been placed in a position where we must make important decisions that is going to affect our families and the future generation. Every day, we must make decisions. However, at this moment, our decisions could either make us or break us. It is important for each Israelite to listen to the Most High's instructions to prepare themselves for what is happening in our generation. We spend a lot of time talking and barely listening to the Most High. The time has come for you to listen and follow the Most High's instructions. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. We all have goals and plans that we would like to accomplish. In order to find success in achieving our dreams, the Most High must order our steps. The Most High is behind the scenes, orchestrating events in the spirit realm to manifest in the physical realm. Israelites, pay attention to what is happening to your spirit in the spirit realm. This is important. Whatever takes place in the spirit realm would manifest in the physical realm. If you're successful in the spirit realm, then your success would manifest in the physical realm. For example, if you're being tormented by the spirit of poverty, if you defeat the spirit of poverty in the spirit realm, then you will overcome poverty in the physical realm. Israelites, it is important to allow the Most High to order your steps. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Whenever our ancestors obey the Most High, Yah direct their paths. Whenever the enemy rise against our ancestors, the Most High instruct his people on what to do to find success. The walls of Jericho is a good example. Our people followed the Most High's instructions to overcome oppression to secure their future. So the people shouted when the priests blew with the trumpets and came to pass. When the people heard the sound of the trumpet and the people shouted with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. One of the biggest myths surrounding the Most High is that the Most High is not listening, or the Most High does not respond to our personal prayers. Because many Israelites feel that the Most High is not listening or they have fallen short in their journey, the kingdom of darkness convinced them that they are not redeemable. Many Israelites take matters into their own hands. When you take matters into your own hands, that is the beginning of your downfall. Remember, it is the Most High that does the good work in us. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of His good pleasure. In order to achieve success or to receive the Most High's provisions for our lives, Yah must order our steps. The Most High is the instructor that is leading us in the direction we should go. 
if you take matters into your own hands, you are taking away the leadership position from the Most High and giving the kingdom of darkness the leadership position in your life. Everything that is birthed from the works of the flesh reaps corruption. But he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. You cannot please the Most High operating in the flesh. Israelites, the only thing that separates you from the Most High is sin. If you are in sin, the Spirit of the Most High will depart from you. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. If you have a repented heart and iniquity does not keep you bound, the Most High hear you. Let me repeat, the Most High is listening to you. Sin is the only thing that separates you from the Most High. If you are not in sin, there is no reason for the Most High to forsake you. The scripture said the Most High is listening to the prayers of the righteous. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. Now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. Do not believe the kingdom of darkness when foul spirits whisper to you that Yah is not listening. That is not true. As you heard in the scriptures, sin separates you from the Most High. The Most High does not hear the prayers of the wicked. If you're living a life that is pleasing to the Most High, the Most High is present in your life and is working behind the scenes to see to it that you find success. Do not believe the kingdom of darkness when the negative voices from unclean foul spirits speak to you. Yah's ears are not dull that he cannot hear. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Yah is listening and responding to you. The miscommunication that is taking place between the Most High and His people stems from Israelites not listening to the Most High and not understanding how the Most High operate. If you do not know how the Most High operate and communicate with His people, you will mistake the Most High silence for neglect. Many Israelites become confused when they believe they are doing everything according to the Most High's will and still cannot find success. Israelites, I would like to help you understand how the Most High operate and how the Most High communicate with you to help strengthen your personal relationship with the Most High. The first thing you need to understand, the Most High does not operate like the world does. The world or the kingdom of darkness operate via the flesh. An example to help you understand what I am conveying to you when I speak of the flesh. The scripture said, the love of money is the root to all evil. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. The people who are oppressed by the spirit of poverty believe if they pay off their debt, the spirit of poverty would no longer control their lives. The people who operate in the flesh will come up with worldly solutions to combat a spiritual problem. In order to overcome the spirit of poverty, you must defeat the spirit of poverty. The spirit of poverty usually establishes a covenant with many people through the love of money. In this generation, you cannot go anywhere without hearing people talking about securing the bag. People would do diabolical things to obtain money. Many have sold their souls to Satan to obtain great wealth. The scripture said, where your treasures are, there will your heart be. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. There are people in the awakening who establish a platform under the disguise of helping their people. However, the love of money is the driving force behind their so-called kingdom work. Many people who are lost in the beast system would take out a loan to pay off another loan, or they would work 80 hours to pay off debt. Some would commit a crime to obtain the money to pay off the debt. Some people would get involved in prostitution to obtain money to pay debt. The examples I stated, many people believe those solutions would defeat the spirit of poverty. When you must work extremely hard and devalue yourself like stripping to get money, that is the work of the flesh. 
breaking the laws of the Most High to obtain money to get out of debt, that is the work of the flesh. The beast system teaches the people to overcome debt by attacking the surface, and the result is always a temporary fix. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. In order to overcome the spirit of poverty, you cannot idolize money. You must shut the door to that idol before the Most High could help your situation. Secondly, you must make the Most High your provider to break the covenant with the spirit of poverty. To overcome any devil, you must break the covenant. When you are no longer a slave to foul, unclean spirits, for our example, the spirit of poverty, you will not spend money that you do not have. In addition, you would possess self-control. One of the fruits of the Spirit is self-control. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. If every Israelite uses self-control, it would eliminate half the problems they face daily. Through self-control, you gain the knowledge to spend your money on assets that would serve you and your family versus showing off liabilities on social media. When the Most High is helping you and delivering you from the strongholds that is keeping you bound, no devil has a ground to stand on. The Most High attack your problems at the root. Israelites, start looking at your problems as spirits because that's what they are. Poverty is a spirit. Fear is a spirit. Sexual lust is a spirit. The scripture said, submit to the most high, resist the unclean foul spirits, and they would flee from you. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Israelites, I hope you can differentiate the works of the flesh versus the works from the spirit. Remember, we live in a duality world. Satan imitates everything of the most high. His solutions is the exact opposite from the most high. No Israelite should use the excuse of the Most High is not listening to me or ordering my steps. The Most High hear the righteous. The sheep know their master, a stranger's voice they will not follow. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. It is important for you to have a personal relationship with Yah to begin to understand our Father. Other people's testimonies would help, but when you have your own testimonies, it would increase your faith in the Most High. Do not be afraid to serve the Most High raw. The silence many of you experience from the Most High and mistake for the Most High not responding, the Most High is behind the scenes in the spirit realm orchestrating events that will help you accomplish your goals and his will for your life. Remember, I said to you, defeat it in the spirit realm and it will manifest in the physical realm. The Most High is behind the scenes, looking at your life, seeing the events that will come and orchestrating people he wants you to encounter to help you. Yah is reviewing pending events that will take place in your life and use those events to open doors for you. Israelites, Sometimes the events that manifest into your life comes by trials and tribulations. The beast system has deceived many to believe because the journey to accomplishing something great result in a trial, you are cursed or in sin. That is not true. If the trial is not a result of judgment, then the trials and tribulations are blessings in disguise. Therefore, it is important not to give up when it gets too hard. Stand your ground and trust the Most High when everything is falling apart in your life. Getting fired from my job several years ago was a blessing in disguise for me. When Joseph Brothers conspired against him and sold him into slavery, it was a blessing in disguise. The Most High used Joseph to save his people. Always remember, what the kingdom of darkness meant for evil, the Most High can turn it around to bless you. But as for you... He thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good, to bring to pass, as it is this day, to save much people alive. I hope you are beginning to understand how the Most High operate. Communication is important in every relationship. It is important that you communicate with the Most High. 
you must take the time to listen to the Most High as well. The best way to communicate with the Most High is through prayer and fasting. The scriptures instruct us to pray without ceasing and to pray all kinds of prayers. Pray without ceasing. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. When the Most High is leading you, praying without ceasing is important. Praying is how we make our petition known to the Most High. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. It is important that you have an active prayer life. When you pray, give the Most High time to respond. Israelites, the Most High is not going to respond the way you believe He should respond. I will use the walls of Jericho as an example. Most of us would think the Most High would give His people bombs to blow up the walls. In the Most High's fashion, He made His people walk around the walls, blow a trumpet, scream, and the walls came down. The Most High does not operate like the world. Bombing the walls is the works of the flesh. Following the Most High's instructions of walking around the walls, screaming and blowing a trumpet to destroy the walls is an act of the Spirit. The Most High does extraordinary wonders to save His people so no man could steal His glory. And thou say in thine heart, My power and the might of mine hand hath gotten me this wealth. Israelites, listening is key. You must be able to hear the Most High to follow His instructions. Right now, many Israelites are contemplating if they should move from the land of their captivity. Should they take the vaccine? Should they send their children back to the heathen school system? Should they marry a non-Israelite? What should they do if they already married to a non-Israelite? Should they sell their house and move to a remote place? Decisions such as these requires the Most High's input. If you want to move from the land of your captivity, discuss it with the Most High. When you take the necessary steps in doing so, if the Most High give you favor and you find peace, that is the Most High's way of agreeing with you. If you cannot find peace with your decision, then the Most High is telling you not to do it. Always look for the Most High's perfect peace in every decision you make. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Israelites, do not ignore the inner voice, the Holy Spirit that is in you. The Most High communicate via the Spirit. The world calls it intuition. If your gut or intuition is not against the will of the Most High for your life, nor leading you to break the laws of the Most High, do not forsake the inner voice. The Most High used the gentle voice to help you make decisions and to order your steps. Israelites, it is time that you take a leap of faith and believe the Most High. The negative voices that speaks to you are hostile towards anything that glorifies the Most High. The negative voices encourage you to break the laws of the Most High. The Most High would not encourage you to cuss someone out or to degrade a person. That is unclean, foul spirits polluting your mind. Everything the Spirit speaks stems from the Most High and it glorifies the Most High. The scriptures reveal the Most High communicate via dreams. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. Israelites, it is important that you learn to communicate with the Most High in the spirit realm. Most of the stories you read in the scriptures took place in the spirit realm. The Most High would establish his covenants with his prophets or individuals in the spirit realm. The Most High would give his people instructions in the spirit realm. When Joseph contemplated on leaving Mary, his fiance, because she was pregnant with Yeshua, the Most High spoke to Joseph in the spirit realm, his dream life, to help him make the proper decision. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her, of the Holy Ghost. Another instance concerning the Most High instructing Joseph via the spirit realm his dream life 
when King Herod seek to kill Yahshua. The Most High instruct Joseph to flee to Mizraim, known as Egypt, to escape King Herod's wrath. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When Herod was dead, the Most High instruct Joseph via his dream, the spirit realm, to return to Israel. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeareth in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel. For they are dead, which sought the young child's life. How many of you follow the instructions you receive from the Most High in the spirit realm, your dream life? Most Israelites do not know the Most High communicate with them in the spirit realm. Not too many of our people would adhere to the Most High's instructions, especially when Yah told Joseph to stay with Mary. In addition to flee to Egypt, most Israelites would ignore the dream. The way the Most High communicate with us in the spirit realm is through symbols. Most of your dreams are not direct. For example, if you see yourself buying a house, this does not conclude you would buy a house. The house would be a symbol. If the spirit of poverty has a stronghold on your life, the Most High is not going to verbally say to you in the spirit realm, the spirit of poverty is oppressing you. The Most High will use symbols. Symbols such as a person stealing your money or wallet, showing you wearing raggedy clothes, showing you begging for money. Those are symbols showing you that the spirit of poverty is oppressing you. Israelites, you must recognize the symbols. When Joseph interpreted the baker's dream, the scriptures reveal the baker would die. The way the Most High communicated this to the baker was by showing him carrying three baskets full of bread and the birds ate the bread from the basket on top of his head. Listen to the interpretation. And Joseph answered and said, This is the interpretation thereof. The three baskets are three days, yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thy head from off thee, and shall hang thee on a tree, and the birds shall eat thy flesh from off thee. The symbols in the baker's dream were the bread, the three baskets, and the birds. The birds usually symbolize death. The scriptures often describes birds or vultures as the fowl of the air that feasts on dead carcasses. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Israelites, you must look for the symbols. Always ask the Most High for the interpretation. Use the words of the Most High to decode the symbols. There are some dreams that are direct. However, most times, the Most High use symbols. The language of the spirit realm are symbols. As an Israelite, you must know these things and get familiar with the language of the spirit realm. Israelites, you need to know how the Most High operate and communicate with His people. Israelites, when you ask the Most High to assist you in your situations, you must move out of the Most High's way. You cannot ask the Most High for help, then try to do it yourself. You put yourself in a position to become stressed out, tired, and angry. The reason many people become burnt out, they are trying to accomplish what only the Most High could make happen. If you ask for help, let the Most High help you. Whatever you accomplish via the flesh becomes a thorn to you. I hope I was able to help you understand how the Most High communicate with you to direct your path. In addition, how the Most High operate to bring forth your success. Israelites, do not be afraid to go deep with the Most High. That is how you elevate from glory to glory. Any Israelite in the awakening that has not been labeled weird or strange is not living a set apart life. It is a compliment if someone calls you weird, conspiracy theorists, and many labels placed on you for living a set-apart life. You are not supposed to be like the world. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. The workers of iniquity and the wicked have no problem expressing themselves in the beast system. Do not be afraid to be called weird. Do not allow their labels discourage you from going deeper with the Most High. 
The Most High wants you to live a set-apart life. Be holy, for the Most High is holy. But as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Israelites, we are living at a time where we need the Most High more than ever. To find success in the beast system, you need the Most High to direct your path. You must communicate with the Most High. You can witness the Most High showing himself strong through you. Do not let the kingdom of darkness strip you of your privilege. Continue to build your relationship with the Most High to elevate. The Most High hear you. The Most High is listening. Give the Most High the opportunity to show you his sovereignty. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil.